Yeah, I have a long history with Dr. Belanda. And normally when I come in, it's congestion in the bronchial tubes and stuff, which from asthma and stuff, I'm used to it. So I kind of know my body and stuff, and I get right in and stuff. Uh, drove home, 1,000 miles each way, and I came back, and I thought I was just getting a little sick again. So I called him, and he said, come in, and uh, he did what he does. And uh, Dr. Belanda said, said, Dallas, I think something else is different. I don't like this. So did an EKG, and um, he didn't like the way that looked because it was different from the last time. They did an angiogram, and they were like, you can't leave. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean I can't leave? He said, well, you don't have to have it. He said, but you won't have a heart attack and go through rehab and get better. He said, you'll drop dead. So I stayed in the hospital and, and did open heart surgery. And uh, thanks to Dr. Berlando being observing, I'm here. The, uh, the worrisome thing about Dallas when he came in to see me was that he has asthma. And uh, we were just assumed that this was another asthma episode, but the characteristics of this pain were a little bit different. And I said, gee whiz, we've got to do a little bit of diagnostic testing here. And sure enough, uh, just had to get him in with the specialist in a real punctual fashion to get this looked at. And thank goodness uh, we had intervened early. Uh, as much as early detection is important, prevention is the key here. And that's what we're all about in, in our practice. When I went to the ER, I came right in, they did an uh, echocardiogram, um, and they did another test and stuff, and those, those were fine. They did the angiogram, and once they got started, he like, uh, we got a problem. And once he said he got a, we got a problem, he showed me what the problem was, and. Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, they came and got me and did the surgery, had a double bypass. And that's the thing about coronary disease, it can really play for keeps. And we just have to be so diligent about this, uh, the guys especially, after age 40, so we can uh, keep them out of trouble. In general, I feel good. You know, I'm up every day, I go to work every day. I think I've used it, uh, two sick days and two years, you know, don't miss work, you know, I'm good. Yeah. For the prevention of coronary disease, a number of things come to mind. Uh, very aggressive smoking cessation uh, will often help people with some, uh, some of the improved medications. If you have an inclination something's not right, follow your first thought. Go get it checked out.